Friday, we witnessed a little four or five year, no, probably three or four year old swimming in frothy, yucky mess where you can see all the oil on the bottom and it's yellow, frothy, sudsy, bubbly stuff all up in there, you know? And like, wake up world. I mean, America's asleep. America is asleep. And I learned another thing they have the attention span of a fleet. Unless it entails. Lindsay Lohan coming out of rehab. You know, they're not telling them, look, we don't have actual tests to test the seafood for dispersant. And even though that we know that there's an ingredient in 90, corrects at 9,500, that uh, when tested on the fish, kills 50% of the fish in, you know, in four days, and, and in 10 to 12 days, they're all dead, you know, the seafood's safe. They can't make the parents believe it. So they're going to brainwash our children into believing it so that we can be led by our children because, you know, our children are saying, well, it's safe because I learned this in school. And it's just, it's a pathetic ploy. It's absolutely a pathetic ploy. I feel violated that these, that NOAA, EPA, whoever can come in and teach whatever they want to to our children, even though it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Because if the seafood were safe, then they could prove it was safe because they would have a test for dispersant, right? Which is... I mean, there are, there's, there's so, this is, there's so many layers to the story, and it, the plot just thickens, you know, it just thickens and thickens, and I'm like just appalled and outraged, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Because, you know, with, with the corrects at 9500, um, I kept asking too many questions about it, and so when I got invited by BP to come for the scientists for a day, um, me alone, they brought all the who's who to the table. Of course, I had to have my questions inter uh, submitted to them prior to them coming to the table, but they had this whole production of me sitting at a, a big round table, and they brought uh, the heads of and scientists to answer my questions. One particular, um, the EPA brought in, a, there was a toxicologist there, and she had created a chart. She created this chart, and she had little household products all around it, right? So she's got the little household products, and she's going to, excuse me, she is going to help me, she's going to help me understand that Corexit is perfectly safe because it's in all of, look at all this. This is, this is the products, you know, we, we use them in our home. They're harmless. I mean, Everybody uses these in their households. And then there's this Klondike bar sitting on the table. And I'm sitting here looking at this Klondike bar thinking, wait a minute, you've got all these, all these ingredients, and I've already studied the bad boy of Corexit 9500, which is dipropylene glycol butyl ether, or backwards or something like that. But anyway, you know, I've already, like, going crazy studying this stuff, trying to find out what is in our water, what is in our air, what is in our seafood. Um, and I know for a fact that this ingredient in the Corexit 9500 is not in anything we eat. It is in a lip shimmer, but that lip shimmer is one, it's, it's in the dirty dozen, okay, that they're trying to get off the market because it's toxic, because it has toxic effects to it. So we know that dipropylene is not in our food. I knew this because I'd done all the research. There's eardrops, whatever, whatever, colace, whatever. In the very end of the, uh, the chart, it says other. And so the bottom ingredient is the dipropylene, which is not in food items, and it's not a good thing. So if you follow through and you meet to the end, it has 10% and there's a little 7. So you have to take the, look at the 7. You have to go down at the bottom of the chart. They make it really difficult for you to find this. You know. Average person's not going to do this. Um, the little 7, and it says that they got it, that, that it's the MVSD of Lysol bathroom cleaner. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't spritz Lysol bathroom cleaner on my salad, nor do I add it to my tea. You know, or, nor do I batter my shrimp with it. You know, I don't batter my shrimp with Lysol bathroom cleaner. Why? Because it's not intended for human consumption. 
So I go home, I study the chart, and I'm like, no, 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 this is not in food items. So then I go to um, the Dockside Chat, go head to head with FDA guy, who I asked him, is this in food? If, is the dipropylene glycol in food items? And he absolutely insisted that it was. And I said, no, it's not. And he said, yes, it is. And I said, no, sir, it's not. I've done my research, and it's not in there. So much so that we went head to head that my parish president kind of had to, not that it was ugly, it was passionate. It was passionate debate is what it was. But the average person is going to go up to that EPA table, and they're going to look at these things, and they're going to say, okay, I can eat the seafood, because even if it's in my seafood, it's fine, because I'm already eating it. Look, I eat Klondike bars. And I might add, this chart that she created, when you add up the percentages of the ingredients that she has on this chart, it doesn't come up to 100%. Therefore, there are a bunch of missing ingredients, trade secrets, that even though we've been poisoned by it, we can't know what it is. You know, so we've got this going on. And I mean, and it's outrageous that our government's supporting it. We're being, um, yeah, it's like they're trying to pull the wool over our eyes or... The credibility's gone, and, and I don't feel that I can trust what they're saying. So I'm 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 leaning more towards independent scientists, independent media, uh, like you know. And so th that's the important thing is because I want to get the truth. I don't want to be, you know. There seems to be this massive cover up, and uh, you know, my grandbaby's health. You know, that's 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 everything I live for. They're the air I breathe, and. You know, if whatever happens to them directly impacts, you know, my forever. I, I, I have to, I can't stop. I will not stand down. Whatever comes against me, I refuse to stand down. I will continue on this quest to find the answers. We're, we're the sacrificial lambs. I mean, bottom line is, I've, I've felt this all along, that um, we've been traded for big money and big oil. And it's not, it has absolutely nothing to do with, with human welfare, with human health human health consequences, like, you know, life means nothing, you know, and, and my mom always said that the love of money was the root of all evil, and, uh, you know, she was right. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Yes. Emergency. 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 Emergency.